you, Jeff, uh, for starting us off uh, with this, uh, those inspiring words. And uh, what I wanted to do was to uh, begin just by acknowledging that the, uh, some of the refreshments and the, uh, uh, the handmade chocolates were provided by uh, Trent Alum, first uh, Mariposa handmade chocolates, so they're on the back table there. And uh, John Conker, who provided the uh, public house uh, brewery. Uh, and uh, the winery is uh, owned by Richard Johnston, uh, who everyone will know is a uh, former uh, MPP and a, a Trent alum who is the co-owner of, of a winery in Wellington, Ontario. We do have two students here that I'd like to acknowledge. We have Carissa and D Dane, both of them uh, scholarship winners. <laughs> so uh, just a few remarks about uh, Trent and uh, where we stand uh, now. As uh, uh, Jeff mentioned, there is a development plan that we've been talking about that I want to, uh, to share at least a couple of thoughts with you uh, about that plan. Uh, but I wanted to begin by saying that uh, much of what uh, is Trent today is the result of the efforts of Jeff and the provincial government. Uh, so for example, last fall we did open the Life and Health Sciences building, which was almost $20 million of provincial funds in the, in the various modules. That they were called Module A, B, C, and D, and we've now completed those projects, and now there's the DNA building and the Life and Health Sciences building. The Life and Health Sciences uh, does emphasize that we are going to move much more confidently into the area of health science education, and we're going to do that through our biology program, our nursing program, psychology, and our uh, forensics program in anthropology. So we do have a new initiative emerging in the health sciences. Uh, but our academic plan, which we have recently completed, uh, it passed unanimously by our Senate and our board, almost unprecedented in the uh, development of academic plans in the history of Canadian universities, to find them ultimately unanimously accepted by the, the, uh, the uh, tri- or bilateral government, uh, governing processes. Uh, our academic plan focuses on four signature areas, sustainability and environment, Canadian and Indigenous studies, life and health sciences, and critical cultural inquiry. I think you can recognize in those areas uh, the programs that you may have participated in as, uh, or that you are aware of as Trent's reputation is built on. Uh, great contributions in those areas. We are planning for more undergraduate and graduate enrollment growth, and we are developing new programs that are re resonating with students, and I would just mention a couple of them. One is a, a Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, or Health Studies in Health Sciences, and also a Bachelor of Science in Water Science. We intend to emphasize uh, distinctive undergraduate teaching and research and also to create more pathways for students who go from Trent programs to all other locations, but also uh, students who come to us from other locations, for example, in the colleges. And we uh, tend to continue to develop our transfer-friendly uh, strategy, which allows students to uh, finish degrees at Trent that they may have started elsewhere. As Jeff mentioned, we do have our 50th anniversary in 2014, so we will begin that celebration uh, in earnest in August 2014. The planning is already underway. There are opportunities to become involved in that process. We do have some subcommittees that have been created by a steering committee, and that steering committee will start to shape and bring forward the initiatives that will ultimately uh, comprise, I think, a whole year of celebration starting in August 2014 and uh, concluding in June 2015. So that will be the, the anniversary celebrations. Uh, I wanted to highlight a little bit about our students. It's great that we have uh, a couple of our uh, really uh, uh, prestigious scholarship winners here. Uh, but we did want, I did want to emphasize that we do have a national survey on student engagement result that is really quite outstanding. We outperform almost all of other universities in, in a number of areas. And I'll just highlight a couple of those. Uh, they won't be. Uh, you know, not, they, they will be familiar to you, but uh, certainly Trent ranks the most highly on student-faculty interaction, on enriching educational experiences, on a supportive campus environment. And so we actually are very proud of these results, but they also give us some room for improvement. We intend to always be able to focus on those areas and show that we are leaders in that area. Uh, we want also to emphasize that uh, we are, as I mentioned, a transfer-friendly university where we have strong partnerships with colleges like Fleming and Durham and a new partnership with Loyalist College in the journalism area, which has been quite a remarkable new uh, addition to the, uh, the kind of programs that I know students are interested in, in, in attending. 
Uh, we also have a developing relationship with UOIT in Oshawa. Our Oshawa campus is really the heart of the liberal arts and sciences that we intend to offer in the Durham region. And UOIT and Trent together provides a complementary uh, collaborative type of approach that we think will be competitive with others. It gives us a competitive advantage against other universities so that students will increasingly choose the Durham region as a destination for their education. Uh, I wanted to mention a little bit about the community impact, as this is something that Jeff and I uh, talked a little bit about. We know that uh, Trent is the uh, fourth largest employer in Peterborough, and uh, we uh, inject about $276 million into the local economy. Uh, just two weeks ago, uh, the Board of Governors approved Trent's budget for the coming year at over $100 million, the first time that's happened. And uh, we definitely want to make sure that these funds are used wisely, they're used to support the educational uh, dreams and aspirations of the students who attend Trent as well as the community. Uh, we do have a Trent development plan. It was uh, presented to the Senate yesterday and earlier to the board, which is uh, picking up on the concept of the village that will be located at the south of the campus. In essence, a place where town and gown can meet which was originally envisioned as part of the construction of that campus in 1964. I went back and found the original press release, which was dated May 14, 1964, almost uh, 47 years to the day that I presented the new development plan, which highlighted the fact that this village, which was planned to be at the southern edge of the campus, uh, would now start to come into being. So we'll have a series of workshops in the fall, and we'll talk about this with developers, with community leaders, uh, the students, we'll get faculty involved, we'll make sure that when we uh, commit to this village concept, it will be it will be a remarkable and outstanding achievement and it will do Trent proud. Uh, there are other examples of villages or, or developments that have been adjacent to universities that I think we can learn from. There are some very good examples. There are also some that don't work very well and we want to be careful in this area. We know that Trent, there will be people who would like to live next to Trent University. We want to be able to capitalize on that and bring those people into a living environment that will actually uh, ensure that the campus is enhanced as well as the community. Uh, finally, I just wanted to mention that there are a couple of building projects that we'd like to promote as part of the development plan. And the first is the new student center, which the uh, students have long desired as part of Trent University. Uh, it was thought to be something that we could include in the athletics complex, which was constructed and opened a couple of years ago. However, the the momentum had not been there to actually complete the planning. Uh, an anonymous donor has stepped forward to provide funding that will allow us to design, uh, to get architects involved, to think about site planning. And a new student center, which would include a student space, very desirous of this idea, but also space that would be uh, useful for an, from an academic point of view, to have academic spaces which are common, and, and spaces that promote the interchange of ideas, so a kind of a Trent Ideas Zone, which I'm thinking about as part of the Student Center. So we very much hope that this will go forward. The students have uh, indicated their desire to put this on an, uh, a referendum that they will hold in uh, March, where they end up uh, sort of uh, approving a levy that will ultimately be used to uh, support this project. And it would be my goal to commit the province, as well as uh, our uh, phil philanthropic fundraising efforts to make sure that we provide the funding that will be necessary to make this a partnership with our students. The second major building project is an environmental science building, which again, I think has the potential to bring environment, the strong physical sciences, and some of the social sciences that we do very well, together with business, because this is the real uh, crime need I think our society has identified, is to make sure that when we develop business, we do it in a sustainable way. And so bringing our business program and our environment programs together, in my view, this is a very a strong contribution that Trent University is uniquely positioned to make. Uh, we intend also to uh, pursue expansion of our graduate programs and uh, to also build this kind of graduate program on the economic needs in the, in the region. So we're aware, as I think all of you are, that the prosperity of our, economic, of our region depends on uh, the prosperity of this university. I would like just to end these comments uh, before I introduce uh, Linwood uh, Barkley. Uh, as a, uh, I'd like to end this by saying that I think uh, it's really commonly understood that universities are vital instruments in the, in the driving of innovation and growth. Uh, this is constant work that needs to be done by not just one or two or, or a 
handful of people, but it's the commitment that I think we all have at Trent, and uh, and that all of you have, and uh, it's your help that I think we will uh, we will need to ensure that we continue to pursue that agenda. So those are my remarks. I'd like to uh, thank you all for coming.